From time to time, people will ask me, Jason, why don't you go on a podcast and debate Russell J. Gould? Or Mark Lowercase K. Kishon Christopher. Why, why don't you get like a third neutral party involved and debate those men? And my answer to that is always, why? Debate and argument happens when there are opinions being shared. If someone has closure and has the facts and it continues the evidence of the facts, then why do they need to debate anything? Why does anything need to be argued? Why would I need to speak with either of those two men, Russell or Mark? Like, what would be the point of that? I don't want anything that they have. I don't want titles. I, none of their possessions. I, there's nothing that they have that I could ever possibly want. I certainly don't want their friendship. Because with friends like that, who needs enemies, right? So there is absolutely positively no reason for me to go out of my way to establish contact with either of those people. Now, if they want to establish contact with me, the only reason that they would have would be to learn the grammar, perhaps, because neither one of them show any evidence that they have closure on the grammar. And I've proven that time and time again. So, folks, there is no reason for me to do that. I know that a lot of you out there would love to see something like that. And I think maybe it's because people just like drama. They like to see drama. They like to see arguing. They like to see yelling. And some folks may actually have this fairy tale vision of everyone in the quantum grammar thing coming together in unity to come together as a team so we can all work together for the betterment of everyone. Folks, never gonna happen. Never gonna happen. As long as there are personalities like Russell J. Gould and Mark, uh, lowercase K, Sean Christopher involved. Because individuals like that are always gonna wanna be in charge. They wanna be the ones that call the shots. And if you get someone like me involved, where I am the master of my construct, I am in charge of my construct, I am the commander of my biosphere, I participate with rule one, rule equal. Whenever I have communicated with either of those men, I have never ever used a title to communicate with them. I have never called Russell Chief or Commander or anything like that. I call him Russell in an email communication. The only individual I ever remember giving a title to was when the one of the first times I spoke with Colin David Eiffelwin Colin Miller on the phone, I called him Judge. And that was just out of respect. Because I was so starstruck you know, that he actually picked up the phone and answered the phone. But I've never used the title, only their name, their correct name. So I don't cognize any titles like that. So again, folks, unless you can think of a reason, unless you can think of a volition think, think of it from your standpoint why would you want to contact them from the same position what would be the reason for you to contact someone like me why would you want to contact me 
I offer the service of teaching correct sentence structure communication parsing syntax grammar. There's one reason, right? There's one reason. Why would you want to contact Russell or Mark? Well, if you participate with the titles they claim, if you truly believe that, for example, Russell is your commander in chief, then one reason you may have to contact him would be to, I don't know, maybe remove the government that's in place and put better people in there. You know, get rid of Biden, get rid of uh, Kamala, get the great Kamala. <laughs> Get rid of all those people and put better people in there. Now, I'm just talking in la-la land right now. I don't even know why I'm going off like this. Again, it's the sound of one hand clapping. It's all bullshit. It's all fiction. Russell, Mark, the whole thing. Kamala, Sleepy Joe. It's all fiction. Trump, fiction, fiction, fiction. So that's the only reason you would have to contact him. And how would you contact him anyways? Tell me, how would you contact Russell J. Gould? <sighs> me, on the other hand, if you want to learn the grammar, there's an email address at the bottom of your screen. You can easily contact me, and I will most certainly set up a 10 to 15 minute video consultation for you. So there you have it. That's my answer to those of you who, for whatever reason, want to see me go in a public forum with someone like Russell or Mark. There is no reason to. There is no value in it for me. The only possible value I would see would be to grow my channel, to get my name out there. But that would be the sole purpose. Right? The sole purpose for me to go on some podcast and have some grumpy dude start yelling at me, <laughs> start start shouting and screaming and cussing and making threats. You don't know who you're talking to, right? Have you all seen that video where, where Russell goes off on the camera just like a WWE promo? like he's Hulk Hogan or the Macho Man or something. That would be the entertainment value of it, right? But I'm, you know, guys, I'm over 50 years old. I, I don't need... I, I, I'll leave that for the young folks out there. Hope I didn't scare you too bad when I yelled at the camera like that. I think I heard my voice doing that. I think I'm gonna have to get off here. My throat hurts a little bit. Again, sorry if I scared anybody out there. Peace. Thank you.